Two is the archive building, for good reason. The important papers were kept here. Well, the papers were burned. They're not available to us. But the papers were sealed with a clay seal stamped by a signet ring or by a stamp of the official that was sending this important document. And this is where a number of them were stored because you find a lot of the seals. And when it's burned, actually the fire uh, fires the clay and helps preserve it. Fifty-one of these stamps, referred to as bully, have been found from this archive building that dates to the time at the end of the first temple period, right at the time when the Babylonians came in and burned it. As we pointed out, these seals are often used to date things, and you see the, the thing that did the impressing on the left-hand side and the stamped clay that's been fired on the right-hand side. Fifty-one of these were found, and as they began to look and read what they said, it was astounding. Here's one from Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, that's mentioned in First Chronicles 9. This was a member of the family of high priests who officiated at the end of the first temple period. Then we read of Jeremiah, the son of Shapan. He's one of the scribes, a high official in the court of Jehoiakim, who was the king at the time that the Babylonians came marching in, reigned at the end of the first temple period. Then Baruch, mentioned in the same verse, if you're familiar with Jeremiah, this was his scribe. He's mentioned some 26 times by Jeremiah, and we have two of Baruch's seals. Actually, one of them has his thumbprint in the back of it. This uh, rather liberal, I'd say semi-liberal, <laughs> uh, archaeology book published in 98, Archaeology in the Old Testament, says this lump of clay used to close a papyrus document was sealed by none other than Baruch, the son of Neriah, specifying here Jeremiah 36 and 4. Then the king's son, who gave the orders to seize Jeremiah, to throw him into the pit, Jeremiel, his seal. I mean, these were the kinds of people that would have documents with their stamp on them, and that's what we find in this archive building. Uh, the king's son is there. Actually, of the 51 bully that were found, they attest to 26 mentioned in the Bible. 26 out of the 51 you have reference to. And, of course, the Bible would be describing the officials of the court. And uh, Wow, how do you get greater, more obvious confirmation that the Bible knows what it's talking about when it describes these people?